Hi guys, this is Shaquila and welcome to Shaq's World. Welcome back to my channel. I am back on my unboxing journey and I'm bringing you guys along with me. Today is no different. Uh, guys, you do see I am wearing my Chanel necklace. So what do you got to do? You got to watch my unboxing video of this Chanel necklace. So if you are not a subscriber, please do hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you can get those notifications. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I'm just seriously on this unboxing journey and I want to bring you guys along. Thank you guys for watching. So today I am paying tribute again to my essay because he is making things happen around here. So thank you and shout out to Calvin again on this purchase from Neiman Marcus. Guys, I told you I would tell you where I got it from, if I got it from the designer, if my essay helps me, if I got it directly from the um, designers themselves, if I got it from an outside vendor, if I got it from Fashion File, I definitely would let you know. And today is no different. We are unboxing today and I am unboxing something that I have quite a few pieces of. And uh, this green box is synonymous for who? <laughs> Gucci. So I'm unboxing Gucci today and obviously if you see this type of box you already know what it is. So I am unboxing this today and I want to bring you guys along on this unboxing journey. So I'm going to be reading some things off for you about the product details. So if you see me looking down or anything like that, I'm just reading the details because I want to get them correct for you, especially if you are interested in this product. Now, again, these were purchased from Neiman Marcus, but I did purchase them through my essay. So here's our green box. And um, here we go. So we got the nice lining of paper in here. And this is what we want to see. And that is what we want to see. And that is what we want to see. So, as you guys know, I have said this before in my video. When you are purchasing shoes, they will come in their own separate bag. So that the hardware and the shoes don't cling against each other so that they don't scratch, they don't, you know, damage the hardware or anything like that. So I am going to take out this particular shoe because that's what it is and we're going to see what it is. All right, guys, look at that. If you guys can see that, absolutely amazing. You see the Gucci on the inside of the shoe as well as the gold hardware on the outside. This is the 15 millimeter Jolie Original Gigi Kimba. And the color on this is beige with a pink interior. I don't know if you guys can really see the inside of the shoe uh, as far as the color, but the color is pink on the inside. I really kind of assumed that it was a beige, but it is pink on the inside. It's a very light pink. And this shoe is made in Italy. Um, guys, I particularly got this shoe for some reason only a half size up when I really should have got it a whole size up. Again, if you're going to buy um, shoes from a designer like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, um, any, any name brand shoe, Fendi, um, Jimmy Choo, you always should buy a size up because they are, their sizes are just totally different. They're European, si European sizes and or Italian or U U European, but they don't fit um, the shoe size that you are. Does not fit if you get it. You're going to have to exchange it. So I always go up one size. Now, it's been very rare occasion that I do order my size and it has fit, but most likely I'm exchanging that puppy two and three times. I go up a half size, then I go up a whole size. And sometimes you even go up a size and a half on these shoes. It's just depending on the style and how they are made. Every shoe is different. So if you notice this at the top, it has the black tip here. You've got the black on the lining of the canvas and this is soft right here and then you have what you got that gold hardware you got that gold you got that gold 
You got that gold, gold, gold. Look at that Gucci. Look at that Gucci. Look at that. Now, when we went on our cruise, we actually went to a Gucci store. There were only two people working. I did not get to look around or look at anything I wanted to, but I really did want to look at their shoes and try some things on, but I was not able to. And it was so freaking hot. I'm, um, and then you did have to wear a mask inside the store. Then more people kept coming inside the store, so I knew that I was not going to get helped. I rather just order it online through Kelvin and keep it rolling. <laughs> if I got to return it, he sent me a return label and then hey, we keep going because going in the store was just a, a, a lot of hassle. Um, I do recommend you go in the store because of course businesses um, need the business. So I do recommend going in a store, but that particular day they were swamped and I just was not having it because it was too hot. So I am a fan of this shoe. I love it. It's super cute on. It does have a little mini heel. It just comes off the floor very slightly. This is not a huge heel and it just gives you that little lift in your shoe. This is a super cool shoe. Look at the, um, the logo on the shoe. And I'm going to turn this for you so you guys can see. And then if you guys see the back of the shoe and then the size is there and then you have the black heel so guys let me give you a little bit of detail about the shoe that i saw so it's the signature gucci shoe um this says it's a spring summer 2020 collection it's of course got that gold hardware this is a slide sandal um, it's just timeless. You have the black trim on the sandal and you guys see that the shiny uh, gold tone hardware. You've got the double G and the square toe. I've never been a fan of that square toe, but lately that is the style. I tried it and I love it. I saw some Bottegas. Oh my goodness. That had the square toe. I'm in love. I don't have any Bottega. I was, was looking at some again with Kelvin. <laughs> Uh, Calvin's a bad influence <laughs> looking at some with Calvin and they were super super cute I just was unsure about the square toe but then I forgot I had these with the square toe and that I love these I'm absolutely uh, I'm adorable with these these are so adorable I'm in love with these I've um I just forgot they had that square toe but I really do like these so I'm pretty sure that now that I remember that I have tried these on that I would like the Bottega shoes and that might be a new video coming up maybe we'll see <laughs> so this has the leather lining with the Gucci print it's got the double G the square toe um, made in Italy the color is natural on this um, it says beige then it says natural so they're probably very similar in that and then let's see and then it says that the heel is a 15 millimeter heel height and of course I told you guys that it's made in Italy so it says that they're 40% polyester 35% cotton and then 18% color beige, 25 millimeter, and then the heel sole is SS20. And this is a Gucci Marimont. That's the Gucci Marimont pattern, but this is the Jolie original GG canvas slide. So guys, again, let me show you the shoe. And let me actually go ahead and pull the other one out. These shoes have super, um, they're they're padded everywhere there's padding in the box there's padding in the box um there's padding on the inside of the toe of the, the shoe just to keep the form of the shoe so i actually left this one in i took the other one out to do the video but this is still in so that you guys can see that they do that just to keep the form of the shoe and each shoe does come in its own little dust bag again to keep the hardware from scratching to keep the shoe from damaging each other and that's how they do that at gucci look at that that is super cool i love this shoe now again 
if you are going to get this shoe, if you like it, if you want to shout out to Kelvin and, you know, get some questions on it, definitely do that. Neiman Marcus is where I bought this shoe. The pricing will be on their website if you're looking for it. This has that light pink interior, but you, if you're looking at this video, you probably think it's beige, but it's super cute. You, it's not overwhelming, um, just very soft and a soft pink. So I'm going to put her back in this bag. And this came in regular boxing um, because, again, it did come from Neiman Marcus. So it came in regular boxing, but then it does come in its Gucci packaging. Did you know that packaging? That just means they want it to be safeguarded. Look at that. So, guys, I did my review on that. I told you usually anything I review I'm in love with it I adore it and I will plan on keeping it because I'm just that into the product so if there's something I don't like about it then I will let you know what I don't like about it and these shoes are a toss-up on the size like I said a size up or a size and a half up and you should be good but do check the size guide because sometimes it'll tell you us um and versus european and versus any other style or size you need to compare against but um i always do a size up and usually i don't go wrong on that um there's a couple of times where i did like i said i did have to go up a size and a half so it just depends on the shoe and you know how long you're going to be standing on the shoe you want to be comfortable so make sure you get those correct sizes but guys um neiman marcus my best friend kelvin yeah y'all got it going on down there <laughs> So guys, I am talking about these Gucci slides and if you do like them, do hit the like button. Don't forget to share and subscribe and thank you for watching my channel. Guys, I am coming up next with another unboxing. You just can't believe we're on a roll with these unboxings. Unroll, unbox, and keep rolling. Or is it roll, unbox, keep rolling, box, unroll, something like that. You know. <laughs> Bye guys. Thanks for watching.